In this video, we're going to be working on a MacBook Air 2015 13 inch. Customer spilled water on the keyboard, and as a result, the laptop does not power on. The first thing I did was plug the charger in, and we do not have a green light. So, we're going to be troubleshooting for a green light to see why it's not powering on. The first thing I want to do is inspect the board under the microscope, and that way we can see where water spilled on the board. Uh, it will eliminate some guesswork. Sometimes, by just looking at damaged components, we can replace them and solve the problem. Now, by just looking at the board, I do see a red sensor in here, which means that water came onto this area. This red sensor was white before. When it came uh, in contact with water, it turned red. So this is the only red sensor I see on the board. Uh, the board pretty much looks clean. I do not see anything, uh, any visible damage by looking at the board uh, with the naked eye. It's a different story when we look at it under the microscope. So let's go ahead and see what's going on under the microscope and we'll take it from there. So the first thing I want to do is do an overall inspection on the board to see what areas of the board got affected by water. Right there. This pin does not look good. And this chip is responsible for the green light on the charger. I'll show it to you on the board view and on the schematic. Uh, neighboring components, we will have to clean up and check. Let's keep inspecting. And this area is also responsible for the green light on the charger. And you see this is where the red sensor is, which means that water came in contact with the board at this area. So we do have damage here. We do have damage here. What else? Okay, this one too. I believe this is for the 3.3 volt line on the board, but I can be wrong. We'll see it on the schematic. I do not really see damage here. It's just some buildup on the sides. I don't think that's a big deal. The pins look healthy. Uh, we're going to clean this up and see what's going on. Anything else? So that's it for the front of the board. Let's flip the board and look at the back. Everything is nice and clean. No signs of liquid spill on the back. So that's good news because we just eliminated guesswork and we're gonna be working at the area where we found the red dot, which is here. This is the area we're gonna be working with. For now, I'm gonna do some cleanup. Uh, we'll go ahead and replace this chip. It doesn't look good from here. So chances are that this chip is bad. Uh, we'll test the components to see if the components are good. I mean, we may see some corrosion here, but the components may still be good. We'll test for a short, and we'll also test the resistance on the resistors and see if they're good. If yes, then we'll just keep them. I do not see anything that's broken or damaged. Everything looks nice and solid. North is fixed. Okay, so I do not know if this component is good. This is uh, probably the diode that uh, splits between the battery and the DC in charger. So if you have the charger plugged in, the computer will use the power from the charger and not the battery. And if the charger is not plugged in, then uh, the voltage from the battery will go in and supply the voltage to the motherboard. Uh, I do not know what's under this mess here, but we're going to find out. And lastly, we'll look into this if we face any issues, but I do not think there's anything wrong here. It's only some buildup on the sides. Nothing major. The capacitor is in place, nice and healthy. Same here. 
All right. Let's start by doing some cleanup. Then we can replace the chip. We'll borrow it from a salvage board that we have. Okay, just doing some cleanup with the brush. Like I said, the components look very good. It's only this chip that I'm worried about. This board is the 00165, so I do have a 00164, a bad board. So hopefully that chip is good on this board. And let me see where we can find that chip on the board. Should be somewhere next to the Wi-Fi card area. Right here. So I'll remove the chip first and put it on the side so we can use it on the, our new board, on the customer's board. This is the customer's board here. Just want to make sure that we did not move any components from under this. Everything is good. Everything is nice in place. that's very good so we removed all the access holder from the center we have all the pins soldered with a new layer of leaded solder Alright, so now it's in place. Uh, all I want to do is I want to press and hold down while I apply some air. That's perfect. A 
let's clean up and see how we did. Uh, I want to check the capacitor for the short. If we do not have a short on the capacitor, we can assume that it's good. Okay, so we do not have a short. That's good. So I can assume that this area is in a good shape now. And how about this capacitor here? Okay, nothing bad going on. Hey buddy, I'll be right there. Hey, how are you? You're good. How yeah. is everything? That one works. So I need to plug the fan in and we can test. Hopefully we have a green light. Okay, so it's plugged in. Let me grab the charger and we do not have a green light so I didn't think it was gonna be that easy okay so uh, just a sec let's go ahead and test pin 6 of U7090 and see if we have VN any voltage at VN We are not getting any voltage in. Now pin six connects with this capacitor. It connects with this capacitor and it connects with the diode. Since the diode area had corrosion on it, I am leaning towards the diode being a faulty component. We can remove the diode and see if we get any voltage on either pin one or two. We're going to get voltage on pin 2 if our DC charger is plugged in and we're going to get a voltage on pin 1 if our battery is plugged in. So uh, right now if we test pin 2, 0 volts. And this is going to be 0 volts of course and that's why we do not have any voltage out here. Let's go ahead and remove this component and see if we can get a voltage reading after it's removed. If not then we will put it back. That's the voltage on pin 2. And we don't have any voltage on pin 2. Okay, another component we should look into is the Q7010. Let's remove Q7010. I did test this line for a short and there is no short. There's no short anywhere on the circuit. So uh, I went ahead and removed this component, but that didn't solve any problems we replace this chip and we still do not have a green light we do not actually have any voltage going in we do not have any voltage at this point here so i went back and tested this point here we do not have any voltage here and i tested at this point also we do not have any voltage my guess is that q7010 may be faulty so let's go ahead and remove it and see if that will solve the problem. So I just removed the chip and I forgot to put the microscope on. So this is the chip I just removed. Okay. One second. Northish fix. 
let's test and see if we get a voltage at R7012, which is this point here. I just want, because before we did not get any voltage here. So I want to see after we move in Q7010, if we now have voltage at R7012, pin one. One second. Northish fix. Okay, so R7012 should be next to the diode. Right here. And guess what? We are getting a voltage now. So now we are getting 15 volts. So that's our problem. Q7010 is the problem. We're going to go ahead and find Q7010 on the 820 00164 board. And to locate that one, I need to look at the board view or schematic. So Q7010 should be all the way down here. so let me get rid of this one so we do not confuse it with the good one So everything is perfect. Just some cleanup. And we can test again. Okay, if everything went well, then we should have a green light now. And everything should be good. Okay, so we went ahead and changed Q7010 and we still do not have a green light. And now voltage is again zero at this point. I want to look at uh, D7012. D7012, uh, this one right here. Okay, D7012 doesn't look too good on the board. It's well connected, but it doesn't look good. Let's remove the component. Now we're gonna do some testing. Fifteen volts, very good. So could that have been the problem? Possibly. 
let's get one off a donor board but first let's fix the pads here on this Let's jump over to our 164 board and find it there. Search for D7012. Maybe it's the same name. D7012, right here. Okay, so it's under this rubber stuff. over here So let's put it back on our board. Should be right over here. Okay, I mean everything looks good. So let's go ahead and see if we have a working board. Oh, look at that. A nice, beautiful green light or orange light now. The fan is spinning and we have an orange light now. Everything is good. So what I'm going to do is just connect the screen connector. I'll put the hard drive in and we're going to plug our charger. Charger is plugged in. And our fan is spinning. <coughs> and we have the Apple sign. Can you see it? Right there. Laptop is working. So we did it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like the video if you liked it. Do whatever you want to do if you haven't already done so. And that's it for this video.